It's year two here in this episode of my ULM Dynasty Rebuild on the EA Sports College Football 25. And we will face a new challenge after the last episode where I went through the entire first season and it did not go as well as I had hoped. We only won two games and actually lost a star and we are now considered a zero star program. But we did sign a top 50 recruiting class and brought in two new coordinators. We didn't have a huge class of seniors last year but after this season we're going to have a lot of new faces. Our top three receivers from last season are graduating as well as our QB and top O lineman. We do have a new guy at wide receiver though. We brought in a transfer, Destin Hill from Florida State. He wanted to be closer to home and he has startup as well but surprisingly didn't have any abilities to come along with it. Last season General Duty was second in the league in passing with over 4,500 4, yards but that's because we practically had no rushing attack whatsoever. But I am hopeful this season because we had a sophomore at running back jump up 5 overalls. Galloway has a lot of things to be excited about here. He only had 133 yards last season, but now he's the starter and should get some production in his junior season. Definitely the biggest surprise from year one had to be our tight end after starting someone who couldn't hang on to the ball for two games. Quad Harrison became the starter and almost broke 1,000 yards as a 58 overall. We brought in a few freshmen at tight end, but I think it'll be better to start quad and redshirt the freshmen. Speaking of freshmen, we brought in one QB. Devonte Proctor, a three-star scrambling archetype, and he comes in at a 72 overall, and that's third on the depth chart behind two seniors, so he's probably going to sit this season and potentially start next year. He has impact development, which is better than normal, and I also forgot that even um, when they are redshirted, they can still play up to four games and maintain the redshirt status. So we probably will get to see him this season anyway, maybe run some option with him. And this is Nana Davis. He only went up two overalls this season, but he is our fastest wide receiver and he's got really good release. So I think he'll be pretty good in the slot for us. But taking a look at Devontae Proctor, honestly with these skill caps, he doesn't appear to have a very high ceiling. His throw power is at a 94 and it won't get much higher, which is fine for me, but we'll see what the future holds at QB. The O lineman I brought in, who I initially thought might start, it looks like they are gonna be redshirted. The first commit we got, DeAndre Pan, a three-star linebacker from New Orleans. He's gonna get the red shirt for now, but has a chance to lose it if I don't like our linebackers this season. At cornerback, I brought in four guys, and three of them will get the red shirt, but not Emmanuel Okonkwo. The three, the six foot three speedster from Texas, he's a three star with impact dev, and seems like he's got a great ceiling too. His speed is maxed out, but he has a lot of room for improvement, it looks like. After this year, we will only have this three star defensive tackle. We have three seniors at that position. He has some pretty bad block shedding, but everything else looks decent. And there's a chance we redshirt him later on, but for the moment he will start as our rush defensive tackle. Another guy starting as a true freshman is our best recruit in my opinion. I think he was our second commit and he comes in at, with a star dev at 71 overall and he's a three star safety at six foot two. He's better in man than zone, but with 97 speed, I think he can make up for it. So he'll get the captain's patch. And probably our most improved player in the offseason is Jaden Hamlin, our defensive tackle. He jumped up nine overalls and has 99 strength now. He's going to be our anchor on the D-line and also a captain. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be showing the recruiting board after the first game just because it changes a lot between preseason and week two. So make sure you stay to the end to see that. But now that that's all out of the way, we can take a look at our schedule and our first opponent for today. Our first game is against Akron at home, but then we will go on the road to Tuscaloosa to face Alabama. I don't think I alter the schedule much, if at all. The only two teams we were able to beat last year will be our final two games of the season. Both of those were close games, but I think we will be much better this season. Let's look at Akron's roster real quick. They have quite a few players in the 80s, but they aren't as highly rated as us. At defensive end, they have Jalen Taylor, an 81 overall redshirt freshman. He'll be looking to disrupt our plans today. They didn't get many, but this is their best recruit by far, JT Kanoi. I would have loved to have landed this guy. He's got a lot to like. A pass coverage specialist with 88 speed. But here we are in Monroe, Louisiana for week one of year two in the Warhawk Dynasty. This episode will only be one game, but next video will likely feature two games as we play Alabama in week two on their turf. And Akron starts on offense and the Warhawks look to have some personnel mixed up and players not playing in the right positions. 
So I have to fix this real quick. And after editing my roster for five minutes, after doing it for five more minutes before the game, Akron will hand this one off to Charles Kellum once more. And the um, third down and three, they hand it off to him again. He'll pick up the first down, three for 30 today. Now he's going to look to pass. This will be caught out right and quickly brought down by Josh McAfee, the true freshman. And quick pressure from the middle. That's Jalen Hamlin. Jaden Hamlin, sorry. He'll bring down Ripley. Finley. Oh my goodness, I'm not good with names right now. But on third down and 15, Finley gets hit hard. Passes the ground. They have to punt it away on fourth and 15. But it'll be a good punt. Down at the 13 and a false start on first down. So they hand this one off to Ben Galloway. And he'll get 15 back. Good rush there. Now it's second down and inches. Going to take a shot deep for Hill. And this will be broken up. He was looking for Destin Hill since it was just inches. But on third down, they hand it off. Get the quick first down. Hand it off to Ben Galloway again. He'll be brought down after a gain of four. Second down and six here. Booties looking underneath, and this will be broken up, and the receiver was hit as well. So third down and six now. Booty looking right side. He's got Nanai Davis cutting out right, trying to get out of bounds, brought down at the 50. So first down and 10 now. He's got a man in motion. This pass will go to him, and he's brought down quickly. Losing a yard there. It's second down and 10. They hand it off to Ben Galloway. He shreds off a tackle and gets a good gain. It's third down and one. They hand it off to the backup. This is Hunter Smith. He's a junior, and he won't get it. So they keep the offense out there and sub Galloway back in. They hand it off to him, and he'll get the first down. Five rushes for 34 yards so far on this first drive. Hand it off to him for a sixth time, and he gets another good gain. It's third down and short. Booty looking quickly over the middle. This is Nine-Nine -Nine Davis picking up the first down now. Booty drifting really far right. He's got two men looking at him. He gets sacked and he fumbles it. But luckily his lineman was able to get on it, take it out of bounds. But it's second down and 28 now. Booty drifting back far. Going to take the quick pass underneath to Bennett Galloway. It's third and forever now. Blocks kind of hold up here. Booty taking a shot. His man's open. It's Destin Hill. The junior deep threat wide receiver comes home and scores the first touchdown of the season for UL Monroe. So they'll send this one deep and take this one out of the end zone. The special teams brings him down behind the 15. But a gain of three on first down and a gain of one there on second down. It brings him up to a third and six. Finley looking right side, but this is a diving catch that was missed. Now, Yul Monroe will get this ball back, hand it off to Galloway, and he's doing all kinds of things in the pocket there. Now it's second down and five. Booty's going to get brought down for a loss of 10 on that sack right there. So it's third down and 15. Trying to get something going here. They hand it off to Bennett Galloway. And he'll get a decent gain. Gain of seven. But they'll have to punt it away. Up by seven. The defense needs to get another stop. And it looks like they're going to get a good punt here as well. Down at the 13. Bentley will get this. Running some play action. He's got a man open over the middle. It's the tight end. He gets a good gain up to the 39. Getting them out of the red zone. Or the end zone. Excuse me. And now... Only a gain of four there, so it's second down and six. Running some hurry up. Now get this one caught and first down. Ben Finley now three of five for 36 yards. More play action. This one will be swatted away by Fon Troy, the senior safety. Now Finley looking left side. This will be caught by the actual tight end. I called 81 the tight end earlier, but 87 is the tight end. Now first and 10 from the 35. Finley got a pretty decent pocket. This will be broken up at the last second. Now second down and 10. Finley's got a man wide open. He'll get the first down, moving the chains. 
Akron's looking good so far. Man going motion to his right. And that's going to be Hamlin hitting him and causing an incompletion. So second down and 10. Good pocket this time. He'll get it out left for his running back, and he'll be brought down. Kill him with a good game. Now the backup is in. They'll hand it off to him. And he's going to shed the tackle and then brought down by the linebacker. That's the transfer. He gets his first tackle. And this field goal will be good. So only down by four now. It's three to seven. Will Monroe gets this at the 25. First down and 10. Booty dropping back really far. And this will be caught over the middle for Griffin. He was able to get open last second. And this will be at midfield in one play. Jan of 25. First down and 10. They hand off to Bennett Galloway. And he's going to get a good gain up the middle. A gain of seven. Faking it to him this time. Booty's going to take a shot deep. Coming back forward is Davis. This pass was thrown a little bit shorter than where it needed to be, but still able to complete it, and it wasn't intercepted, thankfully. Hill's going to come motion right, and Bennett Galloway is going to run that way, getting a gain of eight for his 10th carry at 67 yards on the ground. We're at the three. This will be a handoff to Nine Davis getting into the end zone. It was actually a jet pass, not a handoff. And he'll get the receiving touchdown. And now UL Monroe is up by 10. Now 11 after getting the extra point. Kellum is going to be stopped in the backfield. Hamlin looking good so far. Second down and 12. They'll get the first down right here on the slant. Moving the chains now at the 31. They'll hand this one off to Marquise Williams, the running back. He gets a decent gain of four. Now, they're going to lose it here on this pass out left. They'll bring it back to the 30, 29, and now it's third down and 12. But looking right side, he hits his man, and he'll get this one up to the 39-yard line. Good pass. So now it's first down and 10. Finley going to take a shot here, and he's going to score. He'll get Akron's first touchdown today, and they'll cut into the lead. And now Monroe has it for a third down and seven. Booty's going to get this one complete to Davis. He'll pick up the first down inside the two-minute warning. From the 38, Booty's going to look left side for Davis again. He's going to shed the first tackle attempt. And I think he got out of bounds there and stopped the clock. Now, Booty looking right side, and this will be intercepted. And he is the last line of defense. He has to catch up to him, and he will not. Akron is going to take the lead with that pick six. 63 yards for Roger. And now, with 90 seconds to go, they're going to do a quick bubble screen out left to Dinah Davis. We call a timeout. That's his seventh catch today. Gain of seven at second down and three. Running some play action, and Booty will get this one complete to Griffin, who falls down first down. So it's third at the 37, and Booty's going to try to pass once more. And he's going to take a deep shot. This is a good pass to Galloway, who outran the man. A big 60-yard touchdown for the Warhawks. And that is a great, great throw by General Booty. Making up for the interception on the last throw, or the last drive, sorry. And Bennett Galloway using all of that speed, showing he can do it on the ground and in the air. So now Akron's going to try to get something going here, but they lose a lot right there. It's second down to 16 with 50 seconds to go. And they'll only get a little bit. Third down to 11. They're running this clock down now. They're going to take a shot, but he gets sacked. Monroe, UL Monroe does call a timeout. They want to take a shot here. General Booty's got the arm strength and a man down there. It's Davis and he can't get it to him. Booty's arm just a little bit too strong right there. And so UL Monroe will go up in this one. It looks scares, scary for a second after that pick six. But Booty did make up for it. Handing it off to Bennett Galloway to start this one. We do get the ball to start this half. Second down and five after a gain of five. 
This will be a slant to Davis, and he's got a lot of green in front of him, and he's going to outrun everyone, it looks like. No one is going to stop the little man. The 5'8 wide receiver gets a touchdown, putting us up by two scores yet again. He's putting the Zips to sleep. And General Booty getting a lot of yards on that pass. He did get second in pass yards last season. Hoping to replicate that this season, maybe even get first. They'll hand this one off to Kellum this time. He won't get much, a gain of four. This one's almost intercepted. I believe that was Esther on the breakup. And this will be another handoff to Kellum on third down. He won't be able to pick it up. So it's fourth down and one. The Zips have to punt it. On first down and ten, they hand this one off to Galloway, and he will lose three. So nothing on second down either. It's third down and 12. Going to take a shot deep for Davis who gets his hands on it. And it will not be a catch. General Booty is already over 300 yards in this one. Kellum's going to be brought down in the backfield there by Caleb Phillips. Or Caleb Edwards, excuse me. And there he is again. It's Caleb Edwards intercepting it. He's the transfer. And he is going to get a pick six. So the defenses will trade pick sixes in this one. And the Zips are now down big all of a sudden. Going to take a shot right and getting hit hard. This will be broken up. Now Finley on third down and three. Got his man open on the drag. He's got the catch and run here. Getting hit hard by Josh McAfee. He's got quite a few tackles already in this one. On the screen here, they're going to get a few. Good gain of seven, actually. But it's third down and inches now. They're going to hand it off to Kellum. And he is going to get a shed in the tackle and fighting forward. Good gain on the ground for him. His ninth carry of the game. At the 37, they'll hand it off to him once more. And he's going to shed another tackle. And Fontroy's giving chase, but he won't catch him. Kellum will get his first score on his 10th carry today at 93 yards so far. Trying to cut into that lead and give their offense and defense a chance. Galloway's going to get this carry on second down. Getting a gain of four. He's a little bit shaken up showing that wear and tear. Quickly to Nine Eye Davis on the drag. He'll get the first down. Booty, four touchdowns, one interception so far in this one. Going to run a screen for Galloway, trying to follow his blockers and get back inside, but maybe made a mistake should have stayed outside on that one. Running the jet sweep for Nana Davis here on third down, but he won't get it. He got close, but it's fourth down and two. Have to punt it back to the zips, and Finley's going to keep this one on the option. Josh McAfee gave chase and stripped it from him. And this will be picked up by the big jump. Uh, our corner that had a big jump in the offense, Leonard Harris. He'll pick it up, but how about Josh McAfee using that 97 speed to get to the Finley and strip that ball from him on the option. That's exactly what we want to see. Booty's going to run some play action and throw this one before he gets hit. Looking for the freshman, but he almost got sacked, able to get the ball away. And now a man open downfield is Davis. Up the seams, he was wide open. No one there for him. We will go up by three scores yet again. This offense looks electric. And I just want to show that I am playing on Heisman. I don't want anyone to say that I switched the difficulty or anything. You can see in the last video all the settings that I will use for the series. I'm using Mr. Hurricane Sliders. On first down and 10 here, they're going to hand it off to Charles Keller. He'll be brought down in the backfield by Caleb Edwards. He's had a good game today. And this one's going to be intercepted by Godsey Jr. I've been calling him a completely different player this whole time. And the senior will get this first interception of the season. He did very well for us last season. He's doing well already in this first game, starting at the number one spot for us. And Ben Galloway looked like he wanted to get up and run with it right there. He was close. They'll hand it off to him here again. Trying to bust this one out left side, but he'll get brought down. It's third down and three. Going to hand it off to him yet again. Still showing some wear and tear, but that's not going to affect him right now. Using that 92 speed, he'll get pushed out of bounds. Never brought down. 
And now on the bubble, they'll get this one out to Nine Nine Davis. He's got 92 speed too. And he'll get brought down all the way at the one. We'll hand it off to Bennett Galloway, who's gonna get into the end zone, increasing that big lead. And how about this offense? They looked good last year, but they are showing no signs of slowing down. And the defense is showing that they can step it up and play good too. I am loving this. This is a, such a breath of fresh air after last season. And now, Akron's got this ball at the 19, now at the 29 after the gain of 10, but it's second down in inches. Finley's gonna look right side. He's got this one complete, sheds the tackle, and quickly tracked down. Brought down at the 47, just about midfield. His third down and five. And they're gonna get this one complete. Picking it up and moving the chains. It's first and 10. Finley's got his man open and complete another first down. At the 29 now. ULM's running some good zone covers this play and not gonna be able to intercept it. There was a man in the area, maybe two. And somehow he was able to get the touchdown through them. It's 49 to 31 though. Running another screen out left for Nani Davis. That's his 13th catch. He is at 258 yards in this one. Now running the jet sweep for Tyler Griffin, trying to get him involved. That'll put Booty over 400 in this one. Handing it off to Galloway here, showing he's still good to go in this one. 21 carries, over 100 yards today. And here goes Destin Hill, his second catch of the game. He's going to get a first down, showing us a good burst of speed. And here comes Hunter Smith. I believe the backup should be in the game now. No, not just quite yet. They want to keep the starters out there. But with Benny Galloway getting hurt right there, you got to think they want to make some substitutions, and they do. The senior quarterback, Herring, is out there. His first pass isn't going to be a good one. It'll be incomplete. But now third down and five. Finley's got some pressure from the middle linebacker. He's going to be brought down by O'Malley. And fourth down and 11. Got to go for it. They'll convert. Tight end moves the chains yet again. And now Finley looking over the middle. He's got it complete. Shedding the first tackle attempt, then brought down. It's first down and 10 in the red zone at the 18. Finley's got it complete. And he'll be brought down quickly. Second down and nine. Less than three minutes to go in this one. Pocket collapses on him. And Finley gets brought down. Josh McAfee still out there getting some snaps. Finley looking deep. And this will be intercepted. The big six foot three freshman. That was Emmanuel Conquo. And the Warhawks can kneel it out now. How about that? An interception in his first game. Sealing it into the nail in the coffin. He's most likely going to be starting on the outside for us next season. So I hope that's a sign of things to come from him. The young cornerback. UL Monroe already halfway to the win total from last year in week one. Nine Nine Davis just had a 200 yard game just like he did in last year's opener. He's a big reason we won today. Hope he can keep the momentum going to the next week. And Booty played very well, I thought. Ben Finley struggled on this one. Four turnovers for our defense, three interceptions and a fumble. Show some improvement on that side. And we were able to have a rushing attack. Both our running backs had 4.6 yards per carry. And Gally Galloway went over 100 and he also had a score he also had a big one through the air with four catches and 70 yards and a touchdown as well showing flashes of alvin Kamara versus the cowboys yesterday destin hill got that one score and had 50 yards to go with it the star safety led in tackles and he also had that forced fumble that strip fumble i thought we looked much better on defense compared to last season i mean it was rough and it's why I didn't show much of the games, but this is going to be a much more fun team to watch this season. Kalip Edwards got that pick six in his debut. Can't forget about that. And Nana Davis is your national player of the week. He and Kalip Edwards will also be Sunbelt players of the week. So this team is getting some nice attention early. And next week we'll go get to broadcast to thousands of people in Tuscaloosa, which will be good for recruiting. 
which we'll talk about now. We have three seniors at running back, so I definitely have my eyes on a few early. Canada has no one interested in him early, so he's definitely going to be one of my main guys I target first. He's faster than all our current running backs with 93 speed, and he has 84 carrying and 85 change of direction as well. I think he has a lot to offer us. And now we got some scouting to do at wide receiver. George Matura, 6'5", kind of resembles Tyler Griffin. So I'll offer him a scally. He's got 88 speed, just like Tyler Griffin had in his junior season. He went up two in the off season. So he's at 90 now. And here we have Jeremy Bouchard, who has 98 speed. He's a three star. And if he comes here, he'll be the fastest player on the team. I can't put as much points as I want on these players if I want to bring in a lot, as I only have 300 points to spend because we're a zero star program. And here, on our board, I need a tight end, and actually I need defensive tackles as well. And my number one prospect I'm looking at here is going to be Dajiri, I think. He has 85 strength and 70 speed. No one's going after him right now. And at tight end, we got a four-star, George Kappa. He's from Georgia, and he's going to be a gym. I think he'd make an immediate impact to our offense, so I really hope we can get him. He gets a scally. And we'll send some DMs to him. On defense, we got a middle linebacker, George Ball. He's a gem with 86 speed and 84 tackling to pair with it. I don't know if we can get him. It looks like it's going to be a battle. But here we have a kicker with 65 kick power. Get out of here. So this is what our recruiting board looks like. I'm sure I'll be adding players throughout the season because I'm going to need a big class to replace all the graduates. So I'm spreading these points around as much as I can. I think there's about, we're going to see in a second how many players I'm currently targeting. But we got one four star on here getting only 10 points. You can see I'm not flooding 50 points into a bunch of players or a couple players. I mean, maybe I should be putting 50 points into a couple. I don't know. But Alabama is ranked number two in the country. They just beat Florida State by a good amount. So that's fun. Can't wait to see what they do to us. Ty Simpson is the starter for Bama now. He played well, it seems. Not much on the ground for them. Pretense, Bernard, and Law all cut touchdowns for them. Pretense went over 100. Not a huge day for the defense. They had three sacks, no interceptions, but... They had two fumbles and four recoveries. That that looks weird, but anyways, I'm confident we can move the ball some, but the question is, can we keep up with them and get stops on defense? You'll have to find out on the next episode of the ULM Warhawks Dynasty, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. And if you've made it this far, please don't forget to leave a like. It helps let me know you're enjoying the content. That's going to do it for this one. Peace.